Hello and welcome to episode number 101 of the Boytown Podcast. Now what's different about this week's podcast, um, those watching on the video um, will realise that mm, Papa Bear is here by himself and there's no snake rat to be seen. So, um, you know, does that mean there's going to be no boy time? No, there has to be a boy time because we're doing a live podcast in 10 weeks. So if we weren't to do one this week, there, you, we'd run out of sequences and therefore we'd have no podcast. But hey, I'm not going to let you down. I am a trooper and I will do this podcast by myself if needs to be. What the fuck are you doing? Sorry. You just ruined the whole fucking surprise. You, 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 may, you, just, you may as well fucking come in. Oh. Sit down. Turn, turn your phone off. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> what? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> what, what even is that? Why do you have that in your phone? What? Why have what? what? Uh, just people clapping. You have just. Cause that's how I enter a room. This young man, I've got a, a co-host. I was trying to build it up and have a bit of a an introduction. He's just come in. He's banged the table. He's drinking juice. He's a fucking moron. <laughs> it's Aaron Butler. Welcome to Boytown. Thanks for that warm introduction, Dave. It's always nice to be introduced. Yeah, well, you know what? I think off the bat, um, this is not your first time co-hosting the podcast. Um, I believe. See, you, hold, whoa, hold on, you, hold on. Let me let me finish. I no, think I have a few Dave, things to I say. Can't, I, I can't see. It, it's very bright in here. Did, did we get rid of the dark cloud that was over this podcast oh. before? Hey, <laughs> did we just get rid of a dark cloud? Because it's yeah. so, oh, God, it's so bright. I in was here. actually just going to say it could just be that light. Oh yeah, it's, it's, the probably, it's it, probably it, the it light. It's probably the light. Very bright. But that being said, yeah, I, I like the way you've gone in early doors and said that <laughs> because I listened to the last podcast. You snake rat, you did with Shane, and you were saying what hmm, amongst other things that um, you know I brought the mood of the podcast down. Um, I, I I lean back when I record, hmm. and uh, amongst hmm. other things, you made fun of my gap teeth. What? Yep. No. And which is ironic because you two have got have a gap in your teeth, and I think gap teeth are the way forward. Gap teeth, brothers. Yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Um, I'm not going to be juvenile. I'm not going to be immature. No. And I'm just going to say you have the floor now to insult Shane. So if you're going to insult me, insult Shane. So Shane's not here, Dave. Because why? What's his excuse? Because he's getting married tomorrow. And yeah, is he getting married today? No, but here, no, do you know what? Here's, I have a question, Dave. I have a, yeah. And maybe you can answer this for me. This is so strange. This is just, pff, I don't know, it's crazy. Shane's getting married tomorrow. I just have this question, like, mm-hmm. what What does she see in him? That's what I, you know what I mean? What does she see in him? Because, you know, it's, we know Shane. You know, we know Shane. Mm-hmm. So what do, He's, you know what I mean? He's Shane. He's like a little creature. Looks like he's got jaundice. He's I, quite yellow. Long fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Food this sort of always between his teeth. Yeah, he's like a sort of, of hair yeah. that go always untidy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got weird, weird hair, weird hair. I would say it was based personality, but it can't. I don't know. Hmm? You know, I think what it must be is, you know, he must have something on her. Like he must know a secret. Yep. That he that Stacy can't yep. be let out. Yeah, it's and like yep. That's the only reason I can think about why he's got some sort of guilt. He's got some sort of yeah, what's called bride. He's blackmailing into the wedding. Clearly, yeah, blackmailing into the wedding. And by the way, the wedding to be had five days before Christmas. Really thoughtful, guys. <laughs> Appreciate that, Shane. You know, the day before payday too. May I? My first uh, real Christmas. Now let's not get too bitter. Hey, that's man, not all right. Man. You know, it's fine. I will go tomorrow. Will I go tomorrow and have a lot of drinks? Will I spend a lot of money on drinks? Mm-hmm. Am I am I Henry the Eighth <laughs> reborn? Yes. <laughs> I, I, I care about more about getting lit than I do about my family. Hey, you know that's me, and I will go on a good time. But no, I think I'm um, joking aside. Fair play to. Stacey, you know, clearly she maybe needs a mental health assessment, but fair play to her for, for putting up with the guy, and I do hope they both have a nice uh, a nice wedding day. And on that side note, that means that I have to do two weeks of boy time by myself, so, you know, I've got you here this week. You're not alone, my friend. You are not alone. Oh. Oh. Close your eyes. That's- I am here with you. See if I open them, will you be topless? No, I'm not. I'm not going to be topless. Okay. What I will say is... Uh-huh. Stacey, if you're listening, it's never too late. You know what I mean? Like, it's never too late but to only, not only go. if she listens to this podcast on Friday. It's ne- Well, it's never she too late. But hold on. Uh, if she listens to it on Thursday morning while she's getting ready. 
Hey, st- she will. She'll be listening to yeah. this as she's getting ready. Hundred okay. percent. That's that's her ritual yeah. for getting ready. There's for the nothing wedding. I've heard people have said to me before. There's nothing that goes better with prosecco than boy time. Exactly. And and, and bridesmaids. You know what yeah. I mean? We we are big. I love bridesmaids. That's yeah. what I'm saying. And what yeah. I'm saying is, if it's bridesmaids are my girls, I'll see you at the wedding. And if you're, you know you're single, and if you, hey, <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't know if I'm speaking out of turn or in turn. That jacket for a little podcast record. I can only imagine what sort of jacket you'll have for a wedding. If that's just for... This is day-to-day streetwear. For those listening to the audio podcast, he, Aaron's wearing some sort of... To me, it looks Chinese. It looks like a, a Chinese-style... Mm. Mandarin? It, it's black. Mm-hmm. It's a black blazer, but it has... It's got gold um, sequin trim and on it design. It's very oriental and it's very sexy. I very think. Liberace. Some it is would very say. Liberace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it's liberating and Liberace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, hey, you brought him up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should we do a famous boy town segment? The 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 Liberace and Nish Nish. No, you hold that. What I want you to do is your phone call this week. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. No, if anyone's been listening to the podcast and doesn't know. And we normally do segments like tweet back every week. We're not going to do tweet back because sure. myself and Aaron are, are friends. And we're good mates. We wouldn't do it. It's early in the day, yeah. and I don't think we get the benefit out of it. Yeah. Whereas the phone calls, oh for sure, because the thing about phone calls is there are more establishments open, there are more things open, there are more opportunities to, you know. I haven't did a phone call like this since I was in secondary school. Oh, did you not do one whenever you were on the Shane, though? No? We did. No, we didn't do a phone call when we were on Shane. The one we, uh, I tell a lie, me and Shane did prank phone calls maybe like six years ago or something when really Shane okay. did. Shane phoned. Do you remember when Shane phoned Liverpool? No, he phoned the radio, Radio oh, right, Foil. Okay. Do you remember that? Yeah, when he was Brendan Rogers. Yeah, he tried to pretend yeah. to be Brendan Rogers, the Radio yeah. Foil, and he got he actually got through to but hey, the, the show. You're not pretending to be someone told me to give you the brief. Now, what happens is normally we pick a character. Yeah. It's like a character callback thing. We pick a character of someone that they have to be on the phone. And the aim is, rather than to say all the words, is to try and, you know, take a conversation for a walk. <laughs> Let me guess who my character's going to be. Well, all I, what I've written here is you're making a phone call in the voice of Michael Douglas's Liberace, <laughs> right? <laughs> and one of the key points of this phone call is that any time <laughs> the person you phone says something that is positive or pleases you, you have to say, wonderful, <laughs> right? So I want you to introduce a few things I want you to say here. Whenever you answer, whatever the person has to say on the other end of the phone, you say, good morning. My name is Scott, right? Like I like, like Yep, like LeBron's friend. boyfriend, yeah. Basically, Scott's heading to London next week on business, uh-huh. and he's scouting somewhere to relax. Yeah. So you have to find out what this facility offers, and then I want you at some point to say that you're romantic. So I'm a romantic, so I always want a happy ending. Right. So, do you think that's possible? Yeah, I'll tell you. You're phoning some kind of sauna, right? Basically. Um, so, I want you. I want you to. I want you to feel this character. I want you to. Okay. okay. Right, give me the phone numbers and type it in there for you. Are you doing it in your phone? Yeah, okay. I'm going to do it on, on my phone, and then I'll do yours on. Yeah. My phone too. Then sure. are we live? Is this live? Is, is that what Ben's doing here? Oh, okay. Ben, I don't. I don't, I don't know what Ben gets up to over there. He just, he just. He's a voyeur, so he sometimes is is filming us, and who knows what happens with it all. We're on Insta Live now, Ben. Shout out to Insta Live. Okay, all right. the all our home dogs. We're about right, to Scott. do the, the phone call in the character. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. My name is Scott. Hi, I'm coming to London next week on business. I'm scouting somewhere that I can relax. Okay, so you're looking for a sauna or...? Oh yes, that would be wonderful. Well, we are a sauna. Oh, a sauna. Yes, and what sort of uh, facilities does your sauna offer? Well, we have two steam rooms, two dry saunas, jacuzzi, bar, uh, cinema, lounge area, and public and private rooms. And from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. we offer a massage service. And what is the dress policy at your sauna? Is it uh, swimsuits or are you allowed just if towel? In, if you're more comfortable in a swimsuit, that's fine. But um, we provide customers with towels. So you either have to be in a towel or some sort of swimwear. Or you can be naked, but we don't allow people to be naked in the bar. Wonderful. Uh, well, that's fantastic. I'm, 
I uh, about your massage. Do you do a hot stone or is it a essential oils massage? Essential oils. Oh, wonderful! That's very romantic. And at your massage, do you do you do any sort of work on the back or at the lower back or around the shoulders? Full body Swedish. Full body. And does that include a happy ending at the end? That's between you and the master. Oh, wonderful. Well, uh, how much would it be to book in for a massage? For the massage itself is £47, but if you do it all on the entrance, it's £60. Pounds. So your entrance then becomes cheaper. Have you had a... you're going to have a massage, just book it straight away at the door. Ah, wonderful. Have you had a massage before at the facility? No. No, so you wouldn't know. Well, that's wonderful. No, we have different guys every day, so, um... Different yeah. guys every day? Um, well, like, um, every day of the week, not like every, every day of the year. So we have, like, just one guy on Monday, one guy on Tuesday, and so on. <laughs> Sounds a lot like my lifestyle, too. Uh, I, I would quite often regularly frequent, uh... From with some facilities like that. What I would say is, uh, I'm very interested. I'm quite the romantic, so I was thinking of bringing my boyfriend. Would you do a, like a couple's treatment? No. 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 Nish nish. Mm. <laughs> the uh, the well, that's fantastic. Uh, tell me. Have you have you been to uh, the have you been to the spa have you used the steam rooms how how wet would they get? Um, honestly, I don't really know. I don't go in them very much because I actually find it difficult to breathe in. Can I say the steam room or the dry say you don't need to breathe. I don't like and then them. Say, so. Close up, please. Thank you. I'll phone you back. Oh, I don't do use them. <laughs> oh, don't worry, sweetheart. You won't need to breathe. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for your You're help very today. Okay, and I'll, I'll I'll come back next week. The, the <laughs> you know the issue. It sort of felt like the issue with that. Was that good? I, yeah, I thought you couldn't end it. I thought you were. Just oh well, the it. thing is, he, he was he was so serious. He was so wanting to help me. He was so yeah. yeah he, but that's what you get on these phone calls sometimes, man. You get people that are. Do you know what it was? He was having a slow day. Yeah. And just he, he would have sat to me all day just talking because he has nothing else happening in his life. I just thought and that's you, okay. You, once you find out about it, you could have gone. That's wonderful. <laughs> I will see you when I'm in town. There was quite a lot of wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've got your phone call. Hold on, before we do that, can we make an edit of just all the time he says wonderful in the video? That would be here, so here, here's one more for you. Uh -huh. Wonderful. There you go. Do you like that? <laughs> I really if you, if that. you don't know what we're referencing, we're obviously referencing the Behind a Candelabra, the Liberace movie. That's um, one of the that's one of the sayings he says, and he says yeah. wonderful. He says good morning. Oh, if only you could have ended it with too much of a good thing. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yeah, 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 that would have been good. The other I quote a lot from that movie. Right. I'm gonna get you your phone number nine. Okay. So I'll give you your you're just going to be you today. Okay. You're not being a character. Okay. Because uh, I need this to be as deadpan as possible. Okay. I need you just to be straight. You're just authentic. You're just so trying to get opposite help. Opposite of your character? Opposite <laughs> of my character. You're just Dave today. Now, I'm not, I'm a, I'll go by a different name. Yeah. Go by a different name. Mikey. John. Who cares? All right. No, Mikey. John. Why were you so... You were too fast to go Mikey. <laughs> I like, say, you've been wanting to be Mikey for quite like some I time. Like I could get into Mikey. Do you want to be Mikey? I'll be Mikey. Yeah. You're Mikey. Congratulations. Okay. Today you're Mikey. You've got a complete change. Okay. Today, Matthew, I'm Mikey. So, oh. All right, we're going to phone... Let me just make sure this all works okay. Oh, dear. Yep. You're going to phone a piano tuning and repair place. Right, okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. Now, this is in England, obviously, because uh -huh. I don't want you doing a local one because I don't want anyone yeah. sort of Call watching this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's a guy in England. You're in the East Midlands. You, know, okay. you can say you're in Naughty Number or whatever, yeah. sort of make it up. You've just moved over. You're yeah. from Northern Ireland. Of course I am. Your son, you've got him this grand piano mm -hmm. for Christmas. Yeah. But you think it's a bit out of whack. Uh -huh. And your goal is to try just get him. You're just going to say to him, listen, if I just play this over mm -hmm. the phone to you, could you be able to tell me if I need to get someone down to tune it yeah. or not? And do you have a recording? Nope. I want you to go... <laughs> Blink, 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 blink. I want, but then, but then, but then, oh but, but then, I want you to just sit still yeah. and listen to his response and see if he thinks it's a real piano or not, okay, right? Yeah. So that's all you have to do. Get this guy. I'm going to phone him now for you. So yeah. you're just a straight this conversation. Number in. 
Okay, I'll put it in here. Oh, dear me. So you just need to, you just need to, I don't know what way you're going to do it. You just need to get him to listen to the the piano. And is he, he's in the Midlands himself, is he? Yeah, we can maybe blank out of his, his name if he says his name on the phone. Yeah, no, but we'll do uh, he's a piano nice tuner repair man. He might answer with held number, you see, is the only thing. Are you on with held number? Yeah, because head the one, just the sort of people who wear phone in their phone me back. Oh, this, hopefully he answers. If he does not get another one, I'll get Should another leave, one. Should I leave, leave a... Welcome to the oh. I'll get you another one, I'll get you another one, don't worry. say I'll leave a message to you here, man, my, my piano's broken. Bling, 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 <laughs> bling, bling, bling. bling. Okay, okay, let's see. Do you know what I want? When you're doing it, I want you to do real, like, blink, 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 blink. <laughs> right, I don't okay. want yeah. it to be okay, real okay. slow. Okay, okay, I could deliver that for you. Okay, yeah. okay. No Try Shackle Ford. I don't know where in England that is. I'm assuming okay. it's East Midlands. I'll give you the number here. This, Didn't uh, know there was such, it was such a burgeoning business, the uh, piano pe- People need these business. piano tunes. Tuned, tuned, tuned. Okay, hopefully this works this okay. time. I'll get another number up just in case this one If it doesn't work. work, you know, we'll maybe just have to go straight. Oh, call it a day on that. It's always, sometimes it's a box. It's a slow ring. It makes it... Hello, how are you doing, mate? I'm just um, giving you a call. I have bought my son a, a piano for Christmas here. And to be honest with you, I just don't really think it's, it sounds really like it's working too much. Um, maybe it's out of tune or whatever, but I'm just not sure kind of how how to fix it if you know what I mean in time yeah where have you bought it from and um, we just it's ordered it online so you know we just got it um, it was my wife's okay. order she just told me to ring and try and find out about it ok what piano is it and um, to be honest I have not a clue it's just it's, it's, big. it's just big and it's it, again I I'm, I know I, I pay for it but I don't, I don't know what it is that I'm, I'm getting so <laughs> I have it sitting here I can, well, I can try and I just wanted to, it doesn't sound right, so if I play a couple of notes, can you have a, a listen and see if it sounds like... I can't, it really, doesn't help on the phone, but yeah, go for it. Okay. Take a break, take a break. <coughs> <laughs> it's muted, hold on. <coughs> bing! <laughs> <laughs> bing, bing! <laughs> bing, ding, ding! <laughs> So what do you think? I couldn't hear anything. You couldn't hear anything? Hold on, I'll try again. <coughs> bing, bing! Did you hear that? Hold on, let me, let me just put it on speakerphone. Okay. Do it again. Go on, do it again. Bing, bing! <laughs> <laughs> You're obviously doing that with your voice. It's not working at all. It's a keyboard, so I'm trying to do it myself. But that's what it sounds like, <laughs> basically. Wide, sorry. Wide, <laughs> no. <laughs> sorry. What? <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll try somewhere else. But thanks very much, anyway. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Four, four, five. Yeah. Tell him Scott from Shackleford has put you off. Okay. Okay. Could you just go over his number one more time for me, will you? Just the. Zero seven nine five eight. Yeah. Four, four, five. Yeah. Three, zero, one, and his name's Craig. Okay. No problem. Oh God. I'll give him a go now, I oh, will, thank you. Cheers, yeah. bye. <laughs> Good day, Cheers, bye. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> he took that so well. Was that one of the bands yeah. long ago? Well, hey, guys. <laughs> I'm going to have the phone Craig from Shackle. <laughs> Are you going to do it? Yeah. Okay. Is this fun? Is this good content, Ben? Are the Insulivers, are they interacting at all with this? No. no. All right, fair enough. Not, not much. They're all in work today. It's fair enough. It's 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 all right. Uh, so, yeah, that was good. We're on the we're back on. Scott from Shepherd. Yeah, and I hope it goes to answer phone because then I'll leave the message. Hello? 
Hello, is, is that Craig? Hello, yes it is. How are you doing? I'm just giving you a call. Um, I was speaking to Scott from Shackleford Pianos there. Um, it's about okay. a, a piano I've bought for my son for Christmas. He told me to give you a ring and okay. and say, he said like, he can't really see what's wrong with it, but it's making a, it's not in tune really. So he's told me to give you a shout and see if you can advise what to do with it. Oh God! Right. Okay. What's what's happening with it then? What, what type of piano is it? At first, I suppose. To be honest with you, my wife has just bought it from my son, so I, I'm just the one lumbered with a paying for it and b trying to get it working. You know, so it's just. <laughs> oh God! You know, right, I think okay. I think it's a, it's a, it is electric, but you know, it's. I'll, I'll do me to play a note on it and see if if you can tell me what yeah. it sounds like. Right, one second. Oh. <laughs> All right. Right. Hold on. Yeah, and and that's the kind of noise it's coming out with. <laughs> is, is that real? Is it supposed to be a piano sound? Yeah, hold on a second. I'll play it again. Hold on one second. Go now. Bling 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 See? bling. It's sort of bling. I, I don't know where she got it from. It's online, I think anyway. But it just doesn't sound good to me at all. Or I don't know what to do with it because I don't want them playing it on on Christmas Day and sounding. Hold on, try it again. Bling 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 bling. See, it just. It sounds very odd. What kind of piano is it? Um, I don't Stanway. know. It's, it's, it says, um, what's the thing inside of it? Let me check. Stanway. Stanway? Steinway. Stein, yep, yeah, Stein must be. And hold on, oh, I'll try okay. Hold on. I'll play a low note, bong, and then a high note, ding. So that's the kind of sound that it's doing. How weird. So, what would you advise that I can I can really do with it, or what what would you? Because again, I I I wanted to get him drums, but you know, my, the wife insisted she'd rather be a pianist. Yeah, could could can you do two notes at once? Right, okay. Bing bing boom. See, like so, it, it's it's definitely a strange sound, you know. It is strange, isn't it? I'm so sorry. I, I wouldn't have a clue how to fix that. Right, okay. Um, so just give it to him and, and hope for the best then. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, unless you get a... I really don't know. I, I would call the manufacturers, I suppose. Okay, so all the instructions are in Chinese, but I can I can use Google Translate or something to try to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, I'm so sorry I can't help no, that's you. All right. No, it's yeah. you know, alright. Is there anyone else you'd advise me contact about it that might know or just, just the manufacturer? Just the manufacturer, I would say, yeah. Okay, no, no, that's great. Thanks very much. Okay, thanks Okay, a lot. cheers, Craig. Bye now. Bye. Bling! <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, I'd almost email Shackelsford and say, like, guys, we do a podcast. And that was so Here, here's a clip funny. from it. Oh, that was a fun one. Though. That was a good crack. I was going to say that was my favorite part or my phone call. <laughs> that was a good, yeah, 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 I like that one. What I'm going to do, though, is just make sure I take my... Uh, caller ID. My caller ID, because everyone's yeah. like, why is your phone on? And I'm like, hey, you know. Correct. I, I do weird stuff. Whenever Correct. So that was good. We did the phone calls. That was fun. Well, I really enjoyed that. Mine was all right. Like, but yours, yours was way better. I, yeah. I enjoyed yours. Oh, my God. The, uh, the, so silly, so stupid. I tell you what, though, I love it whenever people are silly gooses and like to play along. Yeah, and those guys. Those guys were good, good crack. Clearly, that guy Craig knew exactly what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> you play two notes at once. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa! Uh, we're having fun here. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, hey, I feel like as I said, this, this was something I wanted to do on the podcast this week because I felt like whenever I'm leaning back again. Sorry, I felt like you do um, you, boo. You do you. I felt like whenever you were on the podcast with Shane. You just basically mugged me off for the whole time. Yeah. So what I want to know is, um, what's Aaron Butler? Like, what is Aaron Butler? Who is Aaron Butler? Why should the Boytown citizens invest in Aaron Butler? <laughs> Start from the beginning. Well, for my new, I didn't give a shit about before that. But, you know, where, how do we meet? And tell me a little, a little bit about you. You know, they say the Lord created the world and then send you to that sauna at the same time <laughs> as, as I just happened to be there. And um, it was weird because I was the one in the towel and you were insisting on wearing briefs. But, you know, each to their own. Mm, just be, be wonderful. Uh, I, we met through a sketch comedy group called FNT Live, which were obviously the creators of Naughty Shore. Which, I, which I've been trying to bury in the... 
in the, my career history. For I don't. I keep, I keep bringing it up every day just because, you I know, know it's the only thing day. I've got. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, were we the two best characters in the show? In Nordy Shore? W- were hey. we? Hey, I know it's, it's opposite day, so I'll just say no. <laughs> you know. Okay, okay, yeah, but it is opposite day. But, um, you know, it was, yeah, it was, it was fun. Like, I always look back now. I see it at the time. When FNT, for those who don't know, we were in the sketch group. And, you know, it was it was very good fun mm. for a lot of it. Then it sort of ended a wee bit sorely. But I haven't really spoken about FNT so much on the podcast before. Right. But I think it's an interesting topic to discuss with, with the sugar butt here. We so, were in we were in the trenches. We were in the war together. We were. We were there experience of first hand. Shane went there. Mm-hmm. Shane no. had got a clue what we went through. Yeah, but he wanted the to be our friends because he knew Shane, he knew we were. Shane tried to tag along know, quite guys. a lot of the time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We did the fringe together at Edinburgh yeah. in two thousand and twelve. How many of us actually went to the fringe? Wasn't there about 20, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12 yeah. something like that? Either way, which you know what? See nowadays, looking at it for doing comedy and stand up. For like getting paid to do gigs, we would have not got hardly anything off of it. Oh, there's too many of us. Yeah. So we maybe what was like twenty p. And like back in the day, I could have bought a packet of bikers. I uh, well don't know nowadays. Like, not niche yeah. niche. The only thing you can buy now is for twenty p. Twenty p. It's probably reindeer feed at Christmas. You mm. know those magical little bags. Yeah. Give the Santa's reindeers or a one piece sweet. The inflation yeah. inflation's exactly. a real thing. We can't even go on those babies for a we shit. chocolatey froggy. But um, but we've we've had a good time, and I feel like it would be interesting for people to know. <laughs> I've spoken about this character before, the man known as Toby. <laughs> who who is Toby Morton for the fans who didn't know? He's an was. abortion, is what he oh, is. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does rhyme, actually. The, the abortion Morton, Morton yeah, abortion does, Morton. Yeah. Uh, Toby Morton was this out of nowhere guy that arrived in Northern Ireland, had claimed to have written mm. for South Park, famous American yeah. cartoon. Uh, and teamed up with sort of the production company at the time who were involved, met through them guys, tagged along with us, claimed he have wrote a bunch of his own original sketches. Turns out he actually just stole them from different places. Basically a a crook guy that came over, took advantage of us. And who always knew he was a crook? You and me, yeah. We did. And when we tried to bring it up, Back at nish it. nish yeah no I mean nish but, nish we were the we were the evil ones I think that was what actually turned out to to put the final nail in the coffin of FNT was that whole debacle with him and the sad thing is like he a lot of the guys in the group did give him money to pay for flights and not us. accommodations no we were he got that from <laughs> us no no <laughs> but I mean at the end of the day he he that's a call man you know he's gone over and taken advantage of people who were looking to correct you know. Correct. Looking to, just looking to make a career in comedy. I'm and that's saying. what he did. Can't so, call us. But hey, but the thing about this is what we're announcing now is he's out there still doing this. I, I chase up on him from time to time. You want to make a documentary, make a documentary called Finding Toby Morton. I do. And it's a Netflix special. Mm-hmm. And we just go around yeah. the, the world trying to get this to guy. Find him. Because hey, I just, want him, jail. I just want him to, I don't know if, it, if he could go to jail for it, I think. Cause, well, he probably could. I'd Realistically, so but money. I want to sit down in a room and I want to interview him and ask him why you do it, what do you get out of it? Because the worst was whenever we were doing the fringe, mm-hmm. a couple of sketches he had done and written, they've been put in the show. Mm-hmm. We just fully found them on YouTube, done by other people, you know. So he just fully stolen. Yeah, stuff and by the way, the wo- here's the worst part about it: mm-hmm. the other people in that group, any time I submitted a sketch, mm-hmm. they would run it through a fine tooth comb, and mm-hmm. they would say like, "Oh, we can't do that. Yeah. There's an idea already out there yeah. like that." Any of his stuff, they just slid on. But then again, in. with him on that front, he was very, you know, he sometimes he backed up what he was saying. Like bizarrely, just out of, he goes here. I'm friends with Cisco, and I'm like, what? And he goes, yeah, Cisco, the thong song singing Cisco. And he goes, guys, we're going to get Cisco in a sketch with you. <laughs> and we went, I sure you are. And lo and behold, he goes, hey, just cut Cisco on Skype. That was weird. Wasn't and it? he did. Was so, it Cisco? It was Cisco. Yeah. I think it was an impersonator. But he was singing the dong song. You know that song about dicks? <laughs> I, <laughs> no. I don't think that's that the way it goes. No, it's th- it's thong. Thong. But that guy was singing dong. That's why he wasn't the real guy, Dave. I don't know. Yeah, f- I know it's Christmas time. I don't want to break your heart here, but... Frisco? Singing Frisco. Do you remember <laughs> Frisco? Yeah, the, 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 we had good times this year. We yeah. went on your stag do this year. Yeah. That was one of my favourite hey, we'll highlights. Not Toby. We... Oh yeah, no, we we were going to find him, but then we, you know what, what, what I think we could get in a wormhole here, and I'm getting negative. But hey, guys, if you know Toby, <laughs> tell him we're coming for him. Tell him the big Papa Burr 
and the sweet sugar man. <laughs> the sweet sugar butt. <laughs> Open those cheeks and get diabetes. No, I'm cutting. I'm okay. cutting. This is my WWE right, promo. Okay. I'm cutting. Oh, you go. tell him. What's he going to do when we ride on up India's his, his arse? What? Is that the way? Well, is that, I, is that? I don't know. Should I do a promo too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. You do it. Bears are violent and will kill humans. Yeah. Mm. You watch it. Can you dig it, sucker? Like that? Yeah, that's good. Is that good? That, there we yeah. go. That's but hey, what we're saying is, out of that whole thing, we still remain friends. We we did stop wrecking my studio. And, uh, you know, it's it's been a good fun all time. And like this year... All these years later, six years later, we we're on stags together. We're at you know, your wedding together. Weddings together. We're at Shane's know. wedding tomorrow. We're at Shane's wedding tomorrow. We're back performing together performing and doing stand together. up again. You know, it's, it's just been a great time. It's good to have you back. It's good, yeah. I went away for a while, didn't I? I just yeah, sort of. What was the. Did you just fall in love with it or what did you. Uh, confidence issues. I had a mental sort of block of writing. I didn't really feel like writing anything. And what you could have done is just gone on YouTube and stolen ideas like Toby did, you know? Nish, nish, my no, man. No. You know we wouldn't do yeah, that. No. The, uh, the, and yeah, it's good to be back. It's good to be in the mix again. Tell you what was good. Mm-hmm. The Boy Town Live podcast. It certainly was. Yeah, was last. Was that last week's episode? That was last week. And let me tell you, I had been to most of them. I haven't been uh-huh. to the previous one, but that one was the best. Yeah. Oh, the crowd so, loved it. It was a great room. You know what? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna let some people behind the curtain here. Mm-hmm. You and, weren't well. You know, I wasn't well, and I say not well. Right, I were sick. I needed to do a poo. Like that's. You know, I'm talking sick. The, the honest truth is, I needed to do a poo. The thing is, before the show started, they opened the doors, um, and I was not able to open the doors because when they <laughs> open doors and let the audience in I couldn't just be up and see this thing about accidental theatre the toilets are mixed they're so they're mixed. men and women so I didn't, I didn't want to just be you know in the cubicle you know basically opening the stargate and then just having pure women uh, like pure that. women pure women just in there going oh my goodness and then me having to walk out to the cubicle like that Zac Efron meme hey <laughs> yeah, all sweaty and all you're all warm and, and then <gasps> you know I think they couldn't have taken me serious so I basically yeah. held that in for the hour and a half that we did the podcast and man that's not a, f- a comfortable internal feeling you know that's not and like uh-huh. towards the end of the podcast normally like if I'm I say dancing around from walking or standing up on stage get a bit sweaty I get a bit sweaty you do so towards the end of the podcast I was enjoying it wasn't sweaty and at the end my, my stomach was like you know you need to go to the toilet so I was just sweating and I literally had the end of the podcast be going guys I gotta go to the toilet I told people I was sick didn't want to go like no I shit myself no you definitely you, know. you get you get quite no you're not a nice person when you need to do a poo. No, you're not. Because that's I don't. I don't like being but around. That's you. all. But basically, what I say poo is people say it's waste, body waste. I say it's negativity. And like whenever I have all that negativity harboring in me, <laughs> I can't be a good guy. You're really um, not. You're the worst like, person to be around. And then whenever I get the negativity out. I'm a dreamboat. Yeah, you yeah, know? you're yeah. Whenever your system's empty, you're usually a pretty happy guy. Yeah, and yeah. like that happened before one time when we were in the car. I don't know. I don't know what this was, but it was you, me, and Shane in a car. Just shouting out at people. Just, yeah, and he was wearing a saw mask and shouting he, out the window. I yeah, was yeah. in the back wanting to go home. Yeah. The whole time, because I needed a toilet. But we were um, literally only out for about two minutes, and you were instantly like, yeah. oh, guys, we need to turn around, because yeah. I got a, I got a poo yeah. here. And we were like, we just got out, and you were like, mm. nope, doesn't matter. I need to, and we, yeah. you you were so, ag- and we just had to go home then. I know. Uh, but hey, well, we, we were literally just driving around being our souls. So, I mean, it wasn't, I say we, you and him, uh, you know, you could have done that without me, but... But you we know, wanted you there. You're, know, you're you, a good friend. Because you felt that I didn't like it. You knew, you knew I didn't like it and you enjoyed that. You just love it when I don't like something. <laughs> we love and when you're just holding in a little oh, cuspy poo. <laughs> no, that was not a good good day for me. <laughs> yeah. And, but hey, on the live podcast, I just want to say thanks to everybody that came. They were um, a great audience. It was a great audience. And, you know, although Shane's not here around Christmas because he's selfish, mm-hmm. I care about yep. you guys and as a result of that we're doing a live podcast is there again. another one yep no way this is episode 101 there's another live podcast in nine when? weeks in nine weeks in the accidental theater and what date's that is that the february 18th of february that's the 18th of february accidental theater, theater. oh my god episode 110 110 wow. the boy time podcast and can, live can you get tickets for that now shine.net you can indeed and hey you're joking. Well, how much are a packet of bikers these days? 14 quid? <laughs> At least. Yeah. You can get At a least. ticket to the Boy Town podcast. And do you know what? Tenor. If you're struggling for like, I don't know, like last minute Christmas gifts, mm-hmm. 
two so tickets for I the Boy Town say, podcast? I thought you were going to say they're for struggling for money. I was going to say, yeah, just use a weapon and uh, no, 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 burgle no. old people. No, you know, because hey, at Christmas they have a lot of extra dough. No, don't tell people. Help you can't. Hey, you, you know, can't. it's it's the most wonderful time of the year, but it's also the highest time of the year for crime and burglaries and break-ins. So what I'm saying is, if you're going to do it and you need money to come, to this the show, is the time to do it. Hey, but don't go for it. Don't. Nah, it's not next no. night. The, uh, the we don't condone that, but if you do, it, yeah, but we hey, can't stop you. Is what I'm saying. No, what I'm going to say is. Would it? Would I rather have people in an audience, or would I rather have <laughs> a pensioner <laughs> that's not burgled? You know, hey, we'll leave that to the audience to decide. Here's a random thought: mm-hmm. What do you think about these new paper straws? Because I don't like them. I don't. I don't that is the most random segue. I know, but you've reminded. I've, I've ever seen. I know, but it just came into my head. I don't head. like it because you suck a little bit of juice juice out of them. And it's then they soft. Just give in. But why are we going backwards in society? I think a lot, people, the a lot of people are worried about what's happening to plastic. It's not being recyclable. Like I saw something in the news recently that I think only 5% or 4.8%, I think, accurately, of all plastic is recycled. You know, But at the end of the day, but I, be, I, look, hey, I've said this about burglaries, and I'm going to maybe go into them again and say, <laughs> hey, you know, by the time that, 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 that plastic is a big issue in the environment... I'm gonna be dead. We're gonna be gone. We'll be dead. Well, I might still be alive. Yeah. I've got like another hundred years in me yeah, from but, from today. Yeah, but you're all you're like a bit of a tech nerd. Like you're in the technology. You're fil- you're a videographer. Your cameras filming. Like I could see you trying some sort of new weird experiment. Weird experiment to like become half man, half robot. Like the Terminator. Shit. Did you see that thing in the news about uh, the flipping thing? In, was it Japan or something? The robots killed like load of people no nope. i may have dreamt this but i'm pretty sure that Sounds robots great. i'm gonna go into like last thing i looked up on on is uh sexy saunas in london and <laughs> oh. robots kill robots kill in japan um I th- this could just be an actual movie let me see um, sounds like the plot of terminator i'm not gonna lie oh here we are no killer robots Artificial intelligence experts call over boycott over lab at South Korean University. Artificial intelligence researchers from nearly 30 countries are boycotting the South Korean University over concerns that a new lab in partnership with leading defense company could lead to killer robots. I'm half right they haven't killed anybody. But, but they're, they're on their way to. They're on the route to. More than 50 leading academics signed a letter calling for the boycott of the Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology and its partner defense manufacturer Hanwha Systems. The researchers said that they would not collaborate with the university or host visitors from KSID over fears that it sought to accelerate the arms race to develop autonomous weapons. So basically what it is is Skynet from the Terminator <laughs> is coming true. Like you know what? I remember one day I was in, in a Tesco's this is probably about Five, five, six years ago, mm-hmm. and there was a woman serving at the counter. That's what and happens, there was yeah. the very first, one of the very first ever automated machines. <gasps> oh, the self checkout. Yeah, and I said, No. You just I went it. to the woman, I said, I've seen Terminator, one, two, three, four, and Rise of the Machines, and Judgment Day, and Apocalypse, or whatever it was, the shit ones with Christian Bale. Yeah. And it's happening. Like, you think? It's happening. You know, they called it, that, and I'm freaking out about it. Self driving cars. Exactly. What are they going to do? But at the end of the day, all technology malfunctions at some time. You know what I mean? And like, have you ever seen uh, Robocop? Yeah, sure. Do you, remember, do you remember when they're showing off the first Robocop? They bring it into the room and it just obliterates it. It kills guy. everyone, yeah, you know? yeah. That's basically it. I love how we went from me talking about straws being recyclable okay. like, that, you, <laughs> that you decided yeah. Skynet's about yeah. to kill us all. I don't know whether this is more the Boy Town podcast or a weird podcast that I do, but hey. It's turning. Oh, is that a plug? Is that a cheeky plug? <laughs> hey, <laughs> kind of sounds like the Aaron Butler podcast too. But I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't have to listen to that one. The Aaron Butler podcast available on YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Facebook, SoundCloud. Uh, it's SoundCloud. It's on Spotify and Podbean too. I don't know. It's all these places. I don't know why it's on some of my places. You're doing subtle plugs there. Um, mm-hmm. But what I'm going to do now is we're going to move on answer listeners' questions because we've literally bl- like I find this so easy to record this podcast this week. I feel like it's been we, we've only forward. been recording for about ten minutes, haven't we? It's near. It's forty minutes. You know, but the camaraderie, the back and forward, you, the gelling, you, you the, it's just the ca- the charisma. Best and the podcast ever. I don't people know. People may say I'm it. Just saying they it. may say it. You know what I mean? But hey, you know, if you don't want to listen to the Boytown podcast, you're retarded. But if you want to check out another <laughs> podcast, <laughs> or else maybe I don't know, a robot's taking over your mind. Is that a more PC way to say it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Hey, you know, is it 2018? Whoa, I don't know. And hey, Ben. Don't cut that out. You know? <laughs> Cause is not here this exactly. week. I don't tell you to cut stuff I, out. I do it Keep it all in. I'm X-rated. So, on reset, anything to plug your own podcast you're saying there? 
Guys, the Aaron Butler podcast is a thing. It's a real, it's on YouTube, Facebook. I, just search Aaron Butler podcast, you'll find it. And that's my podcast. Mm-hmm. And then if you don't want to listen to that one, you could listen to... Also Retarded. The yeah. Dave Elliott Weird Podcast. Yeah, which, which is a great podcast. on SoundCloud, now, iTunes. what I will say is mm-hmm. if you're in a room alone, you've got just a laptop, but you've no internet, but the internet just allows you to load like one page and the only page is the Shane Podcast... What I'm saying is don't listen to the Shane Talkcast. Unless yeah. you know, unless there's un- unless you're in bed at night and you can't get to sleep. There's nothing you, you else. You find you just you can't get yeah. that rhythm to sleep. You know, you're up. You you need something that that, that bores you. Yep, you need a monotonous. You need to check out the Shane Talkcast yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if, and, if that's it. And, and guys, you know, I feel this has been a very juicy podcast. Questions? Let's question um, it up. I'm, hit hit me questions. with some, Dave. I'm um, ready for some questions. We put the question out on Instagram. There's a lot of activity going on Instagram with mm-hmm. your arrival here. A lot yep. of people actually calling for for the butt lord to come come back. So they ask, we deliver. It's easy give them what they want. Um, <laughs> oh wow. Uh, Chloe uh, Z has put a picture of uh, the Royal Rumble and with me and <laughs> you great. and she and hanging off my arms. I really like that. Sc- what I will say screenshot is... Screenshot that and send it to Ben. Yeah, I'll, I'll screenshot that and I will send it to Benjani to put on our on our page. But absolutely love that. Chloe, That's a thank pretty you very cool. Much. Yeah, Chloe, appreciate that. I'm just that. checking as your question. Oh, here we are. Just wondering, uh, will you be watching the Royal Rumble and who would you like to see return slash win? P.S. Hope you get a laugh from my wee pick. You know, I would like to see the return of... Oh, I nearly said something controversial there. I know, I know. I knew where you were going. Yeah. Oh, Maybe that first name C, last name B. Da, 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 da. Oh. Um, you know, Carl Barrett from the uh, Liberty yeah. um, No, I think... Uh, I, I, I'm calling for Ric Flair to come back. Just the old that old was going to be my answer. Sweet pants, the yep. nature boy, hundred percent. Get him back. Who else would I like to? Hey, I would kind of like to see. I, I'd like to appear at the Royal Rumble if you have any contacts. You? Yeah, I'll come out in a leotard. Yeah, yeah. You would know? you have a character or anything, or would you just be Dave? I'd be the, the bear man, the Papa I, Bear. I, I would wear a very like I would wear you know that realistic bear suit that they had from uh, what's that one that Leonardo DiCaprio was in, and he was like fighting a bear. Oh, the uh, I don't know. The I have deliverance in my reverend, head. The, the reverend, the reverend, the reverend, the reverend, the reverend. Yeah. The reverend the <laughs> a different film, which yes. is available on WWE. <laughs> <X-Tube. laughs> um, but yeah, I would, I would like to see that, and I'd like to see Roman Reigns return actually because he is sick. He's, you know, what, he's a wee you sick know, baby, and I would like him to get better. And we need him to get better to so win the Royal Rumble. Vibes to Roman, um, yep. a big listener to the Boy Town podcast. Oh yeah, Chris Barr has said. In fact, he said good morning, so I think you should say our first bit. Good morning. That's like ASMR stuff. Go ahead. Very sexy. What bespoke item is placed at the top of the Boytown Christmas tree? Um, you know what? It's it's a it's an angel, but it's Boy George. You know, yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. And it just so happens that where the tree fits <laughs> is up his bottom. <laughs> and so, hey, there's. Plenty of room as well. Because yeah, he's got some messed up guts like me. <laughs> he's you know, he's so. halfway down the tree. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but hey, because it's... Uh, it's very bespoke and he sings as well. So um, roomy. Carry um, on. Next a, question, a great guy. Let's rapid through fire through these. Paddy Mac has said, what have you boys asked Santa Claus for Christmas? What have you asked him for, sorry, should I say? All I ask... Is for all my friends and family to have a nice Christmas. I'm I'm a selfless guy. I thought you might have asked for some gear, you know, for some work related stuff or No, I don't like I maybe years What about ago. to become the new permanent host of Boy Town with me? Maybe? Listen, if the fans obviously want it, Shane's getting a bit too you know, long Shit. in the two oh, oh, yeah, Well, sorry, no, yeah. don't mm, sorry, sorry, we sorry, gotta yeah. ease the blow. Okay. Uh, but apart from being the new yeah. host of the Boytown Podcast, 2019 coming soon. What we would say, guys, is just retweet this episode when it goes retweet, out. Share, yeah, it, share, you know, share and share it on Shane's page. Send yeah. it to Shane. You know, know, really bombard him. Tell him how you feel, guys. Uh, tweet him. Uh, and yeah, I just want everyone to, to have a night. Everyone to be safe, well, healthy. I want Baby Holly to have a lovely Christmas. You know what I mean? Shout out to Baby yeah. Holly. Yeah, she uh, does listen. She, yeah. No, but she will listen in the future. And then she'll not want to talk to me. She won't talk parent, to no. you. She has to look after me when I'm older because I'm not going to have kids. True, so That's right. what I want to <laughs> say. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Baby Holly. Matthew Mernon, <laughs> say good morning. Good morning. Like him. Said, like the citizens have had a whip around. Mm. What are the people of Boytown gifting the man boy on the occasion of his wedding? So what would we get him? Frankincense and myrrh, like the mm. old traditional uh, Catholic cool Bible. 
and Murr, the guy from Bill Jokers. <laughs> yeah, That'd be yeah, a really yeah. niche gift. Uh, uh, I've, uh, I've actually, to be fair, I've got him a present, which we, I'll not have in time for, for like, it'll take like another month because so. you know me. If I'm getting him a wedding present, it's got to be bespoke. Do you know what I'm going to so, get him? Shane, hope you listen. I'm going to get him a watch, Dave. Because oh, he's always yeah. late. Ow. So, yeah. He, you know what? He'll hit that. He but, will hit um, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only joking, Shane. Look, Sweeney, people usually ask what was the worst Christmas present you've ever received. But what I want to know is what would be your ideal Christmas present? Um, mine was the little slither of tinfoil I got off Master Light's garment at the live podcast. <laughs> Hashtag dreams do come true. <laughs> so what would be the ideal Christmas present for you right now? I you said before the podcast that Brexit would be ideal if you no, could just... shut d- up. Don't say it. That was, so, don't, that was off our idea. No, no, I, thought, I thought you were going to be a thought about it. No, we're not talking about Brexit. <coughs> Again, oh, right. um, the, uh, if I could have anything, I'd have... Uh, do you know what I would? Do you, I would love to just. I own a water park. Give me a water park for mm-hmm. for Christmas. Just a whole one. Just for yourself. Yeah, just for me. And I, well, here's the thing. What would it be? The theme be? Would it be chocolate? Oh well. And it's like instead of water, it's just all melted chocolate. It's like but, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Only and I greet you at the door in this blazer. So and it'd stuff. be like a water po- a water po- parklet factory. No, it doesn't work. No, 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 no. So you're on the right yeah. lines. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like that, and I give you like a grand tour and stuff, and then there's William Balloonbas and yeah. all be good crack. So yeah, no, that, that's nice. a water park made of chocolate. Yep. What? What's wrong with people? I don't think they're real people. You'd have to just get like I know kids or something. Dave. All right. If you can source them, a man. If if a man can source a blazer like that. Here, what's your ideal present? Can source my ideal present would be time, like just to myself. You need it. You know, away in a hotel, in a spa, possibly at sauna. You were in the phone too earlier. Just a nice relax, just a nice romantic happy ending for me, and it's. <laughs> You know, away from my family for a, a couple of hours. You do nice. need to sleep for a while, yeah. Yeah, but hey, you know what me, I enjoy sleep. Oh, I'm well aware of Jamie it. Harrison has said, Merry Christmas, boys. Shane, is Papa Bear going to support you at the waterfront next year? Shane's not here, so I'm going to go out and say it. Nah, I don't like to do support for Shane on his big gigs. I prefer to just go and watch it, hang out with him. Correct, I don't like correct. to do that. Correct, and I'll also, be doing the support. He doesn't know you have Oh, I, I, Okay, that's fair whatever. enough, because what I was going to say was Shane doesn't like to have somebody open for him that absolutely smashes. It makes it awkward <laughs> for him to come on to, but I mean, you've just mugged yourself off no, Maybe I won't get on then, that's a shame. Yeah, Amy Melia has asked, that's her there, I don't know if you know her. It's Amy, what yours. up? She's not um, a friend of mine, but she, she, said, she is. But she's she asked the question that I think is very... You know, personal to you. Okay. Would you rather lose a limb or a sense? <laughs> Why is that personal to me? At hey all? Man, you know, it's I just... haven't lost a limb or a sense. Not yet. <laughs> no. Hey, I, I'm a, I'm a predictor, and I know. Uh, I'd lose a sense, no problem. What sense would you lose? Smell. Smell. You well, already do have pretty bad. Sinus. I have bad sinuses, cause which is great whenever you room with me. Like that's always. When it. I roomed with you and Magaluf for Shane Stag, yeah. apparently it was a stinking room, but I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't have a clue. Nope. Apart to me, it smelled like daisies. Yeah. So the, if you'd lose a sense of smell, I had no problem with it. Yeah. yeah. You can still taste. Yeah. No, I I would probably go for smell as well. Yeah. Because you definitely wouldn't want to lose a limb. That wouldn't be. And you wouldn't want to lose sight. You wouldn't want to lose taste. You wouldn't want to lose hearing. Mm-hmm. Smells of fucking fuck smell. Yeah. True. There you go, Amy. Thanks for the question, Amy. Stu Baprin, I has said. Bon dia, Chico's, and I think this is directed <laughs> to you and me. He said, "Just wanted to say thanks for all the laughs this year." Just, yeah. Hey, Bapper, we appreciate it. No we problem. appreciate you, and hopefully, twenty nineteen, I'll be delivering you some more laughs mm. with you with on my me. Side. Fuck Shane. Boom. Right. Sean Porteous said, hmm. "I see Boy George and the Culture Club are appearing on Graham Norton show this weekend. But who would your ideal chat show sofa be?" So right, you get to pick many. Is it three? Yeah, alive or dead. So I know you're picking the one guy. We're going Michael Jackson. Yeah. We're going Ric Flair again, okay, just because yeah. he's the, the nature, the nature boy. boy. Uh, and then the third one, George Michael. Mm. You know what I mean? That's yeah. a nice three all piece. All of them are dead. So we have to bring them all back from the dead. That's okay. You said alive you know? or dead, so it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I pick one alive. Nah, I've picked nah. three. I've picked three. Yeah. G- give me your three. I can now I tell who one might be. Okay, we're going to go Jeremy Corbyn. Um, oh. We're gonna go Theresa May, oh. and we're gonna go mm, Boris Johnson, and we're gonna sort this bloody Brexit out. <laughs> oh, Dave, come on! No, only joking. No, I'm just kidding. I picked the London boys, both of them. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. so the London I'd have the boys, two London boys, <laughs> yeah. and I would have Marilyn, and that would be my ideal that, guest. I should say. I yeah. thought you were gonna say Prince. No, Prince. I, I feel like Prince. Wouldn't be He wouldn't be a great guest, he'd would he? would be very sassy. He would just sit there. See, if he was in the mood, he mm-hmm. wouldn't give you anything, mm-hmm. you know? So I, I would just let him rest in peace. I'd play... With the London pr- boys in Ireland. I'd, I'd play Prince, you ask Prince a question. 
Prince, um, welcome to the show. Uh, you have absolutely no music coming out because you're dead. Um, is there anything you want to talk about? Mm. <laughs> oh, whoa. Like that, that's yeah. how he does it. He just Ro- slithers away. Oh, oh Ross White has... Um, let me just look outside. There appears to be a SAS bus parked out there. <laughs> Ross whoa. must be in that. Shane, did your podcast grow legs and walk off this week? Because there was no Shane Tomcast. <laughs> um, I think I think Ross. The answer to that question is, you know, Shane's just not a reliable guy. He's not nope. here on the podcast with us. No consistency, you know, and, he's, and he's let you down. He's no consistency. Um, Our podcast comes out every week religiously at the same time. Yeah. So if you want to go listen and subscribe to me, that's it, what you it's should actually, do. It's actually we actually are competing against. But hey, but you know, that's Lucy. Um, but my third account, she's called Le Papa. The, okay. Which is actually a nickname of mine too, to be fair. Yeah. Has said, why wasn't Shane in YouTube Rewind? And that's because it was the most like successful videos and stuff on YouTube, wasn't it? In the last I've, did you see YouTube year? Rewind? No, but her got a lot of dislikes. It was the which one. on that point you can imagine Shane featuring. That, yeah, you but, would think he would be in yeah. it if it did have that many. You know? But uh, yeah, uh, to be in YouTube Rewind, you have to have bazillions of people mm-hmm. watching your stuff. Yeah, and unfortunately, it's only Battle of the Bone with millions of hits. <laughs> <laughs> that he has those millions of views but anyway guys that, that that's a nice podcast Are I feel like it's we been done? good we're going to wrap it we'll hit the road I just want to say thank you to the sugar butt for stepping in to the <coughs> the weirdly thin <coughs> long clown shoes oh, Shane thank they god are. you don't have to put his gloves on nope. because uh, you'd need to I don't have your the elbow. fingers I don't you know you don't have those weird salad fingers that nope. he has nope. but guys it's been episode 101 of the Boy Town Podcast We'll be back next week with a Christmas special. You'll maybe feature on that too. <laughs> Unless, of course, there's a massive backlash and people don't want to listen to Aaron anymore. If that's the case, I understand. Stop mimicking me. Hmm? Guys, if you haven't already, rate and review the podcast and share it with people. And we have some very exciting news coming in the new year. <coughs> it might rhyme with merchandise, And that's all I'll say. So, guys, see you next week.